Medical Departmental Stores Element E1 Sub-Element 7 Activities for Auditing D. Documentation SI Staff Interview O. Observation Score 0, 1 or 2 Sub-Element E 1.1 there is a written policy and procedures for the medical storage and it's done by documentation. Review the policy, which should be comprehensive. Cover all aspects of IPC requirements in medical stores, including but not limited to basic criteria of medical stores. For example, space adequacy, being secure with access restriction, good maintenance, proper organization, regular cleaning and being away from contamination, direct sunlight and air vents. Ventilation requirement for medical store, for example, temperature 22 Celsius to 24 Celsius, relative humidity up to 70%. Recommended standard for storage shelves and container that are used inside medical store, accepted material, design, essential installation requirement, for example, 40 cm from the ceiling, 20 cm from the floor, and 5 cm from the wall. Essential practices requiring for safe storage of a sterile and clean item inside medical stores. For example, completely separated from personal item, food and drinks, not expired items, and no broken or solid bags, no original shipping boxes. Fully applicable. All elements of the policy can be applied and comply with the hospital's scope of services. Based on scientific references approved by MOH, GCC, CDC, WHO, and EPIC. Signed from authorized personnel, for example, owner of the policy, hospital director of medical director, concerned department. Approved by IC Commit, valid update within two to three years and when indicated. Note, approval by IC Commit is required for the infection control manual as a whole before distribution and also for individual policy after major changes. Another point of view, staff interview is required as is it mandatory for relative staff to be fully aware about component of policy and procedure. For example, without proper awareness, written policy and procedure are worthless. Element E 1.2 Medical storage area are of adequate capacity, regularly cleaned, secured and away from contamination, air vented and direct sunlight, and it's done by documentation and observation. Review the following documents. Housekeeping schedule and updated detailed checklist. Who is responsible for housekeeping? Authorized staff who should be well trained on hand hygiene, use of PPEs, methods of cleaning, disinfection, and proper and safe mixing of chemicals. What are procedure or method of cleaning and disinfection activities? Material and supplies and used agents, for example, with cleaning, MOH approved disinfectant, detergent, landing wipes. Essential documents for use housekeeping ingredients, for example, detergent, disinfectants, MSDS, preparation, usage, contact time, precaution, and required PPEs. List of environmental services intended to be cleaned and disinfected. How frequent housekeeping activities are indicated with application of practical update detailed checklists. Observe the storage area in medical departments which should be adequate in space, secured with restricted access of only authorized personnel, properly maintained and well organized, away from contamination, direct sunlight and air vents, Regularly cleaned according to defined housekeeping schedule and updated detailed housekeeping checklist. 
Environment is, is clean at all time and free of contamination, no dirt or dust. You can wipe out some environmental services. Check if it's tools, agents, materials used for cleaning and disinfection activities are available and matching MOH standard. Sub element E 1.3 Medical storage area have a controlled ventilation which adjusted temperature and humidity. Temperature range from 22 Celsius to 24 Celsius and relative humidity up to 70%. And it's done by documentation and observation. Observe the storage area and medical department for the following. Storage area is centrally air conditioned with adjusted temperature and relative humidity. Each storage area is equipped with a fixed device for regular monitoring of temperature and relative humidity. Observe temperature from 22 to 24 Celsius. Observe relative humidity up to 70%. Fixed temperature and relative humidity monitor are valid and recorded values. Local department log are identical to the actual readings. Sub-element E, 1.4. Storage shelves are at least 40 cm from the ceiling, 20 cm from the floor, and 5 cm from the wall. And it's done by observation. Sub-element E, 1.5. Storage shelves are made of easily cleanable material, for example, fenestrated, stainless steel, aluminium, or hard plastic, and it's done by observation. Observe the storage area and medical department for the following. Storage shelves are made of easily cleanable material, for example, fenestrated, stainless steel, aluminium, or hard plastic. The storage shelves are 40 cm from the ceiling, 20 cm from the floor, 5 cm from the wall. If containers are used inside the medical store, they are made of easy cleanable material, for example, hard plastic. Comment If any storage shelves made of wood or stainless steel wire are not acceptable. Sub element E 1.6 Sterile and clean items are completely separated from personal items. Foods and drinks, no expired items, broken back or back with stain are present. And it's done by observation and staff interview. Sub-element E, 1.7. No items are kept in the original shipping box, especially in the clinic area. And it's done by observation and staff interview. Storage area and medical departments for the following. To ensure that only sterile and clean items are allowed in the medical stores. To exclude the presence of any personal item, food and drinks. To exclude the presence of any expired, broken or solid item or bags. To exclude the presence of any original shipping box, for example, box made of thick cardboard for shipping. Comment. It is allowed to keep non-shipping box made of thin, smooth glazed cardboard inside medical store. For example, small boxes of medical supplies, thin gloves, surgical mask, and syringe. Ask the responsible staff, nurse in charge or storage area responsible nurse about. Instead of direct question, and direct ones or seniors are advisable, for example, what are the recommended staff practices for keeping of personal items, food and drinks inside medical stores? How can you safely keep the original shipping box of supply inside medical store of the clinic area? What are the applied intervention to solve problems of keeping non-shipping boxes of supply inside medical store of your departments? Are you aware about FIFO policy? How you manage expired items, how you manage broken items and bags, how you manage any items or bags with states. Answer. 
only sterile and clean items are allowed inside medical store. For example, keeping personal items, foods and drinks inside medical store is strictly prohibited. It is strictly prohibited to keep items inside their original shipping boxes, especially for medical store of the clinic area. Actually, it is allowed to keep non-shipping boxes made of thin, smooth glazed cardboard inside medical store. For example, small boxes of medical supplies, clean gloves, surgical masks, syringe, etc. FIFO, first in, first out is an inventory management and evaluation method in which item produced or acquired first are sold, used or disposed of first. For example, we are assuming that the first product purchased or the oldest inventory item is the first product used or disposed. Hence, the first product in the door is the first product out of the door. Expired, broken or solid items back are not allowed inside medical store, for example, it should be discarded.